Hello friends and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial. In this video we are going to learn some extra features that we can add to dimension lines. So if you want to learn something here, you already know. Stay here and we can start. Dimension Break have a look at this example where you can see some dimension lines intersecting each other. In order to avoid them appearing as normal lines, we can add dimension breaks at their intersections. The icon is this one, and the way this works is really simple. I just need to click on a dimension line, press enter, and the break is added automatically at each intersection. Now let's activate the command again. Another way to access it is by typing dim break. And this time I select the dimension 600 and as you can see I broke it at these two dimension lines but stays continuous at this point because a break is already added in the previous dimension. Also, breaks apply to any kind of objects that the dimension line intersects. And to show you this, I'm going to repeat the command in this drawing where this dimension line intersects those circles. Look, there is a break in all the intersections. To edit the break size, I just need to go to the Dimension Style Manager, modify the style dims for exercises, the current one, go to the tab Symbols and Arrows, and at the bottom you can see the section for the dimension break where I can change the break size. As an example, I'm going to set 10, click on OK, and now, as you can see, the gap has increased. Dimension Space At the right of the icon Dim Break, we can find Dim Space. When the dimensions are not well organized, or we just want to set the same spacing between different levels, we can use this command. The process is the following. First, I need to choose the base dimension, which is the one that will not move. Then, I pick the dimension to space. Let's select this one with 200 mm of length. Press Enter. And then, I can type a value or set an automatic spacing. If I press Enter again, you can see the second dimension goes down and now the spacing between both matches the extension lines of the first dimension. Ok, now I'm going to undo this pressing Ctrl Z and repeat the command again. I select the same base dimension, but this time I pick up these two. I use again the auto spacing and now the three levels are separated equally. Let's go back one last time. I'm going to I'm going to do exactly the same, but now instead of automatic, let's type a specific distance. For reference, I can look at that small dimension of 20 mm. So let's put the spacing a bit wider. I think 30 is fine. Now this is how it looks like. Create a jog dimension. This new example has a section at the right which is long enough to not fit in a paper. And this representation means that this length is larger than what it looks like here. So I'm going to add a dimension line, but this time let's use the tool continue. Then pick up this last dimension and place this new one here. Now the length of this dimension line is 300 millimeters. However, the real size of that section is 1500. To represent that, I need to add a jog dimension. The button is located here. And this is simple. First I click on the button, then select the dimension line and click exactly in the place where you want to add the jog. Now to replace the current measurement, I can simply double click on the text and change the value to 1500. Basically, what I'm doing here is adding a text override and it can be either as a text, numbers or both. Finally, select the dimension, click with the right button, 
go to quick properties and there I can see the real measurement of the dimension which I cannot change it is 300 and the current text override. Now to display the real dimension length again you can just erase the text override. So it was everything for today. But this time, before leaving, I want to mention that I just started a page of Patreon for Kelly Black. There, you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.